And we cannot stress enough how critical the situation is. The, the, the health of some of these prisoners has deteriorated to the point of um, it being potentially fatal. So um, the time now is now for the CDCR to negotiate with the prisoners or um, they are responsible for the death of these prisoners. The first speaker is going to be Carol Strickman, who is a lawyer for the Prisoner um, Hunger Strike Solidarity Coalition. The coalition is doing the best we can to get uh, up-to-the-minute information as to what's going on. We're sending in uh, legal interviews and we're you know, receiving information from many sources. Uh, what I, I know uh, from interview yesterday of several of four prisoners that uh, the, the medical staff is overwhelmed. They've put the, the, the shoe at least on lockdown. So, which deprives uh, prisoners of, of, of even access to canteen or whatever uh, and other things, that the um, uh, nurse is going around every hour to uh, look for people who've fallen over and passed out. Dozens of people have fallen over and passed out, some hitting their heads. Uh, they are removed and taken to the infirmary there or outside hospitals. We don't know any details about outside hospitals. Um, there, there are, we had received reports that some prisoners were not uh, drinking any water and those people would be in the most dire condition. And we received a report uh, Monday night that some of them are getting intravenous glucose and uh, being resuscitated to some degree that way. Uh, blood sugars are down for some people. There are some people who have uh, significant medical conditions already. Uh, and I'll point out that one of the leaders uh, originally stated that people with the, that the, the leaders were not asking for those people with serious medical conditions to engage in this hunger strike. Nevertheless, many people have. And that shows you just how serious and just how horrible the conditions are in the shoe that people with, that all prisoners would risk their lives uh, for improvement. The, the people uh, surrounding us in the background are all members of the Prisoner Hunger Strike Solidarity Coalition. It's important for us to, to remember and think about that one of the main requests that the prisoners made was for support on the outside. Um, so there's been people that have been working around the clock to um, gain the most basic of human rights for these prisoners. So we are demanding that CDCR negotiate with these prisoners. We're asking for legislators and politicians to visit the prison to get um, to demand answers. Uh, we're asking members of the public to stay informed. You can do that by visiting www.prisonerhungerstrikesolidarity.wordpress.com. There's a lot of information on the background of Pelican Bay and the different actions that people are taking and actions that you can take yourself. Once again, um, we consider this situation to be critical and dire, uh, and, and we hope that everybody take action for members of the press. We hope that you continue covering um, this issue and investigating it further.